Now, the fourth international parliamentarians conference on the promotion of freedom of religion or belief has kicked off today in Nairobi. The conference is aimed at equipping lawmakers to respond to new challenges and trends in the field of freedom of religion or belief globally. It is the first time that it is being held in an, the African continent and we are privileged to have had it uh, held in Kenya. And like I said to them in the opening remarks, they could not have chosen a better place for this particular conference. Kenya is the one country that public schools teach uh, religious education. They teach Hindu religious education, they teach Christian religious education, they teach uh, 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 Islamic uh, religious education. Kenya is the only country where the Interreligious Faith Council, uh, the Supreme Council of Kenya Muslims, the, the National Council of Ch uh, Churches actually participate not only in constitution making processes but also participate in the appointments of various uh, uh, commissioners of independent commissions. As a network of parliamentarians want to defend that freedom of belief in religion because it's fundamental that people are free and expressing their personal faith like other human rights to assembly together, to have their own opinion and expression. All these are expression of the unique and equal dignity of every human being. We know that freedom of religion and belief is restricted in many countries in the world. 85% of world population lives in countries with high restrictions on freedom of religion and belief. And the situation is actually going in the wrong direction for the last decade. It has grown from 40 countries who had high restrictions into 52 countries. So we need to step up to work to promote freedom of religion and belief for all globally. Here today, uh, over 50 parliamentarians from over 30 countries are gathered uh, to discuss uh, to have, uh, to how to move forward, but also to sign the Nairobi Declaration that will be signed later today and tomorrow.